Welcome to my Poundland haul. I visited two stores, one that has a larger Pep and Co and one that has a larger Christmas department. So this is the one with the Pep and Co. There's plenty of slippers for presents there in different styles. Children's Christmas sweatshirts, children's Christmas socks, Men's t-shirts, £3 these are. And of course, Poundland will be open during the lockdown. So you'll be able to run in and get these if you like them. Cute elf pyjamas. And these ones is. If they'd have been a, an adult size in that tartan one, I'd have had it. Selection of wrapping paper, cards, gift ribbon, tissue. I was after these stags, picked up a green and a red one. Those were two pounds each. They had a lot of battery lights that were a pound, all with different coloured um, ends on them, let's say, different types. And that's great for your DIYs. And that ribbon there for presents or making things or just round your hair a very good price this is in the other store so again we see the lights and the battery lights at the top that look like candles wreath holders those light up stakes were five a very nice bauble wreath there for five those little domes were light up at the top for a pound, that's very good value. Two tea light holders. Those bottles will light up. These are all a pound, a fantastic value. Those bottle brush trees, those were lovely. They're quite large, I had two of those. And just uh, look at these gonks here you know i've gone mad on gonks three pound in pink and white it had a different color range here than in the other one it was a lot better look at those little cute knitted stockings there for the tree you could put something nice in there so they had pinks and whites and silvers um, and rose golds And this little let it snow sign there. I thought that was a steal for a pound. Those velour baubles, those are lovely. Two pounds for all those. I think those were um, a bit of a, <laughs> a leftover Halloween uh, lantern that they filled with baubles. I don't know, but um, that's what that is, I think. Got the Christmas ducks, Chris little Christmas characters, the nutcrackers, lots of window stickers and window clings and foils, um, home garland make and those pom-pom wreaths those are very nice I got those for Halloween in the different colours and they're now in the red and green 
these foiled wreaths are great for a pound even if you want to just use them for the inside to make something and you take the tinsel off if you don't like it and look a little sleigh as well could do lots of things with these if you wanted to cocktail sticks as well you, you don't see them very often there's quite a lot of chocolate and advent calendars in there glasses cups candles with rings charger plates salt and peppers crackers games serviettes plates and tablecloths and runners a larger selection of christmas cards in this one and there were gift boxes as well the smaller ones were a pound and the quite big ones for five pound round the corner there were some that were two pounds and they were shoebox size so that's an indication there were some sacks and those those there at the bottom those were the shoebox size um so the one pound ones are smaller and the five pound ones are bigger those baskets were a pound. Again, you could use those for lots of things. Those picks were good, three for a pound. Had lots of gift bags in. And those gift boxes, those were so cute. They were like a little gingerbread house. That was a lovely bag. There was two in a pack there for a pound. We're over in the book aisle now and they had a great selection of children's books. Now my husband's told me that he wants this book so I hope he doesn't get shocked when he finds it in his stocking Christmas morning. I think he wants to relive his youth. The Christmas coal man. So these books were a pound and they'd be great for, uh, you know, the Christmas Eve box or giving to them on uh, the, with the North Pole breakfast or just stocking fillers. But it, there's lots of things there that will keep them occupied and encourage them to read, which is really important. That's cute few stories in there, now short ones, so you're not reading forever at bedtime. That's what I remember. So those were good for a pound. They had thicker hardback books for three pounds. And that those were several stories in there. Over at the cakes, hovered quite a while here. The tins of biscuits, cakes, and onto the gifts. So these ranged in price from a pound to two pound. So there's makeup brush cleaners, lots of bubble baths and sets. These were all lavender scented relaxing ones at the top and there were some lush dupes there. Would be nice to smell them but of course you can't at the moment so I, I can't uh, say how close they are to the real thing. Makeup bags and uh, brush sets and palettes. And a nice lip duo there. All these are great for stocking fillers. Boxes of Maltesers and After Eights, larger boxes. Now, my uh, daughter's boyfriend, fiance, P, he loves those savouries, so I need to get a vat of those in for Christmas. Uh, and my husband likes those butter kists, so he'll be he'll be having those.
and that's another one of his favourites. So I was focusing in for him. Small boxes of milk tray, those are only a pound. Matchmakers are too. The dairy milk and black magic are two pounds. Um, and I think I'd rather have the one pound box if it was me. Quality Street are three pound. And there were some sponges I picked up. You'll see those in my haul. Advent calendars. And they had an elf on the shelf one. And I haven't seen one of those anywhere else. Chocolate coins. They're always nice to sprinkle there in your nuts. That's what I do with them. The nuts that are crack. Um, tubes there were a pound. And elf on the shelf. Food. Um not very nutritious food but yeah there was chocolate baubles and a chocolate elf there was marshmallows there was little sweets and a candy cane back onto cakes again i was drawn back again there's so many different kinds chocolate cabbage chocolate fingers chocolate figures and the elf section again So I'll leave you here, just like and subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, bye.